One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com, here doing some stocks. Stockgambles.com, you can check that out. And what we're doing today is AXXE, Axis Pharma, Inc. 19.41 cent. And I was trying to buy this a minute ago and I had to come back because I had to make a sale. And I sold some Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab to buy this junk. Well, that's what we did. And I think I showed you the charts where it's just like, woo! But that woo, I think, is a little bit different. At breederbeaglespocket.com. And she wants to go see the little puppies. As you can see, I, I'm thinking it's bottomed out. I'm thinking this was some kind of a shell company intro. Blah, 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 blah. And it's low. Now, Total Gamble. I haven't been researching this company for like 10 years. I don't know a whole lot about this company. I'm making a gamble. I'm gonna set this here, alert, for 15. And what I do sometimes is I'll refresh the page, like on this one, because it's so junky maybe, and I'll set two alerts, one for 15, one for 10. Probably buy it two more times on the way down if it goes down. Not that much of a spread at all, um, less than a penny. Um, two third a penny spread. Um, the daily range it opened up up if that makes any sense it was at 15 you can see right there um, not a very big company 43.4 million shares 19 cents a share um, yeah 43 divided by 5 uh, eight and a half million bucks um, here's their brand now they own many brands but their main thing here they're pushing right now is tap out and you might have heard of tapout.com um, and actually i'm on their shopping site within their website if that makes sense this is their website i don't know who that is but it's somebody famous i'll bet um, they have a drink and they've got miscellaneous stuff coming out they got 130,000 twitter followers um, this is the official lifestyle apparel of UFC, and they got watches, um, clothing, here I can maybe switch this faster, down there, workout equipment, and gloves, and Mr. Somebody, and moto gear, t-shirts like crazy, in fact they have some interesting stuff so you're welcome to check out their site of course it's not my site you can go there anytime one owner car guy is buying this stock and it's kind of been floating around right here all day and it's just the ultimate penny gamble and I tell you a 2500 share bite is interesting to me and we're gonna limit it 19 it's right there five oh, let's just go ahead and get 3,000 shares no what I do that I don't believe in this company that much I want to gamble about 500 bucks on it because of their name um, because it's such a what I believe is new here Gamble, total gamble. Don't do stuff like this. This is stupid as I click the button. $4.95.49. And it's up 28% today. Does a guy really want to do something like this on a day where it's up so much? Yeah, I kind of do and just did. Listen for the click. <laughs> um, so, why? Why would a guy do that? Well, let me show you my thinking here. Just going off of charts, 28% um, is a huge amount up. And it's very easy to drop half of that tonight, tomorrow, whatever. Um, looking at their chart over, let's say, five days. Five days, not a year. There was the click. That was the trade. Five days ago, 
it load out at 15 cents and closed at 15 cent. Load out, that's not really a word. 18 cent before that. Let's look at a month. Basically the stuff was floating for, I just messed that up. My mouse is getting a little gunky. It's basically been floating right here where it is. And it took a little bit of a dive off. Now that could be a sign of utter weakness or it could be a sign of just a sell off because of timing, I don't know. But for the month it's up at 25% more than it is now. Um, I like to come out slowly and see the time there. And in three months, it was as high as 92 cent. <clears throat> Six months, you can see it kind of right there at a dollar. And that's pretty much all they got on it is from June till now. Um, and it pretty much is at the the bottom of anything it's been at in those six, seven, eight months. Um, so, as you see, I just bought StockGambles.com. You can see the craziest dumb stuff that somebody buys. And I've got all my portfolios on there. And you can see, actually, with all this dumb stuff I'm buying, here's how it turns out after about 11 months. I've got a few like that. It ain't never coming back, I don't think. It could. Blackberry. I lost a chunk on Blackberry. But you can see right below it, Yelp. I'm up 249%, 215% um, on United Online, 104% on Creative Edge. It makes up for the 443 I lost here, three times over there, um, 10 times over there. Um, so one of my biggest gambles, I guess, back a while ago was rapid fire marketing. And it didn't go so well. <laughs> I've lost $4,500 on that stock, just gone. As you can see, the two below it make that up in an instant. It's Facebook and Auto by Tell. Um, there's profits, 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 and in the end, I'm up 35.68 percent, 15.9 on an investment of 45. So it's not bad for a little under a year. I'm happy with what's happening there. Although I will say, I'm very heavily invested in MJNA the tune of six grand down to 44 right now i'm got some primo water baby doubled the money there 137 percent hemp man i got some chunk of that i'm down a bit on it 41 percent i'm down i don't have much hope for dhsm or dhs holdings but hemp that one i think is going to hit soon medicinal marijuana there medical marijuana i think is going to hit and grow life grow life is already 53 percent it was up more it was at 10 cent and now it's at seven eight i believe it's a good buying opportunity in this stock that's a strong strong company um and it's made some money but when live wire hits whoo baby that's not even right i've bought another three grand worth today um i've got about three hundred thousand shares now so if live wire creative edge hit for me and hemp and MJNA, man, I don't even want to talk about it. Right now, it's just been the bigger boys up here firing off. But when these here start firing off, that's that. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And you say this kind of, that don't work, buying cheap stocks, look at this. Lee Enterprises, a huge company. They're not, they weren't that huge when I bought them. I put $715 in. For a thousand shares, I actually bought two thousand, and I've sold part of them. Um, so seventy-one point five cents a share. I'm up four hundred thirty-four percent. They're now three eighty-seven, eighty-one. I've made three dollars and ten cents a share um, to the tune of thirty-one hundred bucks. So they can make money over time. I have and do make money. It's important not to throw all your eggs in one basket. Don't just throw all your money in one thing and be like, yeah, I'm gonna get rich. No, I've got this stuff spread out. And to be quite honest, this whole portfolio, this whole entire portfolio could get half or something and it wouldn't affect the amount I'm up on my portfolio as a whole because this is just a part of it. Um, and this part is spread out between cheap stocks and really cheap stocks and then some better ones that 
are pretty good. There's no real blue chip stuff in here, man. Um, some of the nicest companies around you could consider would be Sony. You know, it's a pretty good company. Facebook is debatable. Um, I bought at the lowest point ever. Monster Worldwide, I really like, but that's pretty debatable. Um, there's not a lot of good companies in here, as most of Wall Street would say. For StockGambles.com and One Owner Car Guy, there's some good companies in here. So check out OneOwnerCarGuy.com. That's your best investment. Get yourself an old car to start. They go up in value. They're fun to drive. You'll absolutely love them. If you want something that'll make you happy, get a pocket beagle like Breeder. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing and all that good stuff. I just thought, man, it's just right before 1 o'clock. I'm going to make a last little video here and do a bye. And I just came in and grabbed my laptop out and did it to it. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. OneOwnerCarGuy.com BeaglesPocket.com, huh, Breeder? She wants to go see the baby puppies. Well, we'll talk to you.